Another leak started up in your bedroom. <laughs> that bleeding motorway. <laughs> it's shaking all the tiles up there. There's water coming in everywhere. Oh, don't go blaming the motorway. It's been falling to bits for the years, this place has. Yeah, well, it's worse now, isn't it? If everybody had had them 33 tunnels on the road, we'll have had it. I, I, I mean, that's it. We'd have the diggers out. We, we, we'll be buried right underneath. That's if we don't die of pollution first from the smoke and the diesel fumes. The pollution around here is appalling. The old ecology of Shepherd's Bush has gone right down a pen. <laughs> There's a dumb old chick going over now. No, it's not. It's a stretch VC9. I'll oh, stretch the bleeding pilot if I go. <laughs> they throttle back here on purpose. They, they, they wait till they get over our chimney tops, and then it's wallop. All three engines. Boom, 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 boom. It's a landmark, these houses. I bet they've got it all marked down on their maps. Turn left down Ladbroke Grove. Throw back over Old Drum Lane. <laughs> it's diabolical. Look, look at that. <laughs> There's waves on the goldfish bowl. Ah, we're lucky we don't live in Hounslow. A thousand foot lower over there. Look, if I lived in Hounslow, mate, I'd have four barrage balloons up above the backyard. <laughs> what about that saucepan? We ain't got any more saucepans. We're using them all. You, you take the kettle. Aye, that's not going to be any good. It'll never all go down there. <laughs> well, take the lid off, your fool. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Well, listen, you get worse as you get older. Well, go on, hurry up. My bed will be floating down the road in a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, those underdeveloped nations, they don't know what they're missing. <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> it's all right. I'll put it under the leaf. We'll wait till it fills up and then we'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> Raindrops is falling on me. <laughs> Raindrops is falling on me, Barnet hair. Oh. Do you mind? I'm not in a mood. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> It's no good, father. I'm not putting up with this any longer. We've got to get out of this place. Oh, no need to do that. There's nothing wrong with a bit of patching up what we put right. Patching up? I've patched up everything in sight in this house. I've been patching up the patches for the past 25 years. <laughs> Where did I spend my two weeks holiday this year? In the loft. That's it. In the loft. Two solid weeks. I'm the only bloke here who, who, who finished his holiday whiter than what he started off. <laughs> I, I mended all the roof. I, I mended all, all the chimney stacks, right? I replaced the guttering. I renewed the flashings. Three old tankers go past and boom, we're right back where we started. <laughs> it's a wasted game, this is, mate. Let's abandon the place. Let's flog it while it's still standing. Flog it? Yeah. We, we, we could put the money down as a deposit on a new house. I mean, if we don't hurry up, we'll have nothing left. We will own the freehold of 33 and a half tons of hardcore. <laughs> oh, I don't think I want to move. I was born in this house. I always thought I'd like to die here. Well, will you stay here? It's going to be sooner than you expect. Maybe <laughs> not far from the BBC, yeah? They could flog it to one of them puffy producers. <laughs> they jump at a place like this. It's dead handy for them. The television centre's only half a mile up the road. Yeah, and we still get a rotten picture. <laughs> and where could we go? Anywhere, as long as it's away from this place. Oh, no, Harold, I don't know. It's a big step. Besides, I like it here. 
Well, I can tell. Well, I'm sick and tired of walking around all day with an hammer in my hand. I'm sick and tired of all my suits turning green. I'm, I'm sick and tired of keep picking up the wallpaper. Oh, I won't be dry for once. I mean, every time I stand in front of the fire, you can't see me for all the steam coming out of me trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I want a bit of comfort, Dad. I want to be able to open the window without the frame falling out. <laughs> I want to be able to slam a door without ducking. <laughs> I want to be able to go to bed without my overcoat on. <laughs> it's not too much to ask, is it? Uh, I'm too old to move on. You can't pull up your roots at my time of life. All right, Dick. I'll have to lay it on the line. Either we go together or go on my own. I'm not having another winter in this house. It might be all right for Jack Costeau, but I'm not having it. <laughs> you can please yourself. Yeah. I might have known as you'd come to this one day. I always knew you'd go off and leave me alone in my old age. <laughs> You're selfish. That's what you are, selfish. Oh, Dad, I am thinking of you as well. Imagine not having to go out on a winter's night for a leak. Sensing <laughs> <laughs> eating. A bath. A garden of your own. Ah, oh, I have always wanted your own garden. We could have a little gnome's pond. <laughs> and a row of concrete ducks marching across the lawn. <laughs> what do you say, Dad? Let's do it before we're too old. Oh, well, I suppose if we got somewhere nice, nice friendly neighbours, it mightn't be so bad. All right, Harold, if this is what you really want, I won't stand in your way. <laughs> Hey, you won't regret that, I promise you. We should have done this years ago. Look, I'll get in touch with the estate agents, see what he's got on the books. Here. Where's the goldfish? Hey? <laughs> Charlie! Charlie! Charlie, where are you, Charlie? Antics! Charlie, Antics! Charlie! Antics! I said, would you mind moving on? I have to be expecting a client at any moment. You did start urgent? Yes. That's us. Huh? <laughs> uh, how do you do? Charming horse you have there. We'll take it. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> you can the show's the door. We haven't been over it yet. There's no need to. It's a lovely place. It's just what we're after. It's the first one we've looked at, and we haven't looked at it yet. Yes, well, before we go any further, I presume my partner did make it quite clear what the asking price is. Yes. Nine, 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 five. In other words, 10,000. Well, yes, yes, I suppose it is, really. <laughs> and that's the sort of price you arranged you were contemplating? Well, Tom Jones here is. <laughs> waste of money with a lovely little place down Shepherd's Bush. Now, look, don't start that again. You agreed to look round, so shut your face and get looking. <laughs> yes, about ten foul was the area I was thinking of. I must say that my first impressions is one of favourable disposition. Good, good. Are the, uh, vendors prepared to negotiate on the asking price? Well, of course, this is a very much sought-after area. What sort of price did you have in mind? Four and a half thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Let me conduct the business. Leave us alone. Walk round the garden. I had a bleeding teddy bear. <laughs> Not leaving you alone with him. He'd have your trousers down as soon as look at you. <laughs> Bit or puff. <laughs> well, it's 
in no offence, that that's just a business expression. Uh, having one's trousers taken down is a working class euphemism for being turned over. <laughs> turned over? Uh, taken to the cleaners. <laughs> taken for a steamer. <laughs> had by the short end curlies. <laughs> If you are implying sharp practice, I really must protest. Alec and Ferris have a very old and reputable firm, established since 1942. 1942? Why weren't you in the army? <laughs> Stiff, were you? While we was all over there fighting, you was making a packet out of buying up cheap houses. I was wounded in North Africa, if it's any concern of yours. I spent a year in military hospital and was invalided out. Oh. Oh, well, that's all right. There's no need to boast about it. We all did it. <laughs> I got medals too, mate. In the first lot. That was a war, that was. Not a tennis match. If you'd been wounded in that, you wouldn't be walking around. Oh, look, you. One of these days, someone's going to stick one right on you. I just hope I'm there to see it. I shut up. I do apologise. <laughs> that is a warranted attack upon your integrity. I can only put it down to a combination of senile decay and pig ignorance. <laughs> well, now, to get back to your original question, as regards the price, I mean, if the house is outside your pocket, then I see no point the in... The house is not outside our pocket. We has adequate conkers. <coughs> <laughs> it's just that we would like to know a little bit more about it. Oh, well, yes, 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 of course. Now, the oil-fired central heating is brand new in every room. And there are built-in cupboards, double glazing, and oak parquet flooring throughout. Well, that won't last long with the horse coming in and out. <laughs> horse? Yeah. Her out there. Well, I'm not leaving her out front. Somebody might nick her. <laughs> Look, Dad, we're not going to bring the horse through the house. She'll stay in the garage with the cart. You intend keeping a horse and cart in Highview Avenue? <laughs> yes. I don't think the local residents will take very kindly to that. How oh, we can't put the horse and cart in the garage. I should think not. Oh, we don't know where to put the junk. <laughs> the junk? I said that the junk will all go into the back garden. How about my concrete ducks? <laughs> uh, we don't put the horse in the front room. Look, I'm not having that horse in here with us. Not in a lovely house like this. She will spoil it. No, we will keep the cart in the garage, then we will take the horse through into the back garden and build a little shed for her. This should like that. Nice bit of lawn under her feet, better than all them cobblestones. She can help keep the grass down as well. Yeah, and I suppose you're planning to sell her droppings round here too. <laughs> That'll pay the rates, won't it? Well, yes, yes, I imagine it would. Good Lord, Highview Avenue, they don't even like children down here. Pardon? Oh, nothing, nothing, doesn't matter. I was just thinking, that's all. <laughs> Serve them right. Who? Oh, no one, it doesn't matter. I might be able to get the price down a bit. Oh, good. Well, we'll discuss that later. Let's have a look at the house. Yes, of course. Shall we start upstairs? And here we have the usual three bedrooms, one of which comprises the master suite. And here we have a toilet and bathroom in matching suite. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> a black bog. <laughs> Yes, uh, very chic, don't you think? A touch of luxury. Oh, yes. It's very glamorous. It's very May West. <laughs> oh, I do approve of the gold-plated dolphin instead of taps. Uh, and the telephone. <laughs> that is a flexible shower. Oh, so it is. How oh, very novel. Oh, I do like this place, Father. I'm not getting into a black bath. Why not? It'll suit the colour of the water. <laughs> yes, there is another lavatory downstairs, of course. Did you hear that, Father? Two cars is... <laughs> You'll be able to do your Times crossword puzzle in peace. Here, we can turn one into your little study. Yeah, well, shall we have a look around downstairs? Thank you. I'll lead the way, shall I? And here... We have the kitchen. Oh, yes. Very modern. Very Californian. <laughs> <laughs> but everything is built in, as you can see. The refrigerator and the cooker are included in the price. Of course, there is a double sink unit and a waste disposer. What's that? That saves using dustbins. You see, all these spare 
scraps of grub which is left on your plate, which was your cooking is considerable. <laughs> you scrapes into that. Oh, it's marvellous. It grinds all the bits of bone and meat and gristle into tiny little pieces. Then you turn the tap on and it flushes it all away. <laughs> if you're not careful, you'll be the first thing done. It'll... <laughs> We have an eye level grill, a plate warmer, and a smell extractor. We're going to need that. <laughs> well, uh, shall we? This is the through lounge. Oh, yes. What a lovely size of a room. Oh, man, can really stretch in a room like this. Oh, it's going to be a pleasure to bring a crumpet home to an home like this. <laughs> Where's the front room? You don't have a front room, not in a modern house. This is the front room. And a back room. It's all one room. I don't like that idea. Where do you put your dead bodies when you've got a funeral? <laughs> oh, I'm not thinking of things like that for when you're buying a house. Cool, ain't you morbid? <laughs> I mean, what do you need a special room for that for? God blame, there's only two of us. It won't be used very much, will it? It's important to have somewhere to be laid out. Don't worry, when you go, I'll find somewhere to put you. <laughs> I'll bang you in the black bath. <laughs> I must say that I like it, Mr Ferris. I don't think we need look any further. Well, of course, it is very ideally situated. The amenities are first class. There are three very good private schools in the area. A swimming pool, soft and hard tennis courts, excellent riding on the common, a superb golf course and, of course, three churches. Never mind all that. Where's the nearest boozer? <laughs> I think most of the local residents use the tennis club. Oh. Do they have my knees up of a Saturday? <laughs> I should think that's hardly likely. Father, we are moving into a new milieu. If you try and start a knees up down the tennis club, you go straight into the waste disposal. <laughs> what? You have convinced me, Mr. Ferris. We'll take it. Capital, capital. Well, I'm sure you'll both be very happy here. I'll have the contracts drawn up. Completion should take place before the end of the month. Well, the best of luck. It's been a pleasure to do business with you. Thank you. Well, after you. Oh. <laughs> do you mind? <laughs> well, just a minute. I'm going to nip upstairs and splash me boots. <laughs> it's just nice to christen a new house. <laughs>
found this in the yard. What are you going to do? Get it re-strung? <laughs> well, you get down to that tennis club in your shorts, you'll frighten the wits out of them. I got bother with a tennis club, mate. I got to concentrate on a golf course. That's where all the big deals is done these days. Out on a golf course. Must be a lot of big businessmen around here. I might even join the uh, Masons if it suits my book. <laughs> I've got all the gear out there. I got it off that old biddy down at Kensington. Her old man was in it for 35 years. Finally becomes Grand Worshipful Master. And he dropped dead over the smoked salmon on ladies' night. <laughs> Next day, she unloaded all the gear and she shot off to the Bahamas with a Catholic priest. <laughs> all out here. All I need is a trowel and a min. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what you've got to do these days. You've got to mix with the right class of people. Someone at the door. So I believe. <laughs> I'm going to get a nice set of musical chimes put on the new house so you can hear it. And a nice illuminated outdoor button so you can see it when you come home, three parts Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good afternoon. Mr. Steptoe? Yes. My name is Dryson. I am secretary of the Highview Avenue Residents Association. These gentlemen are my committee. Oh, this is a pleasant surprise. Oh, how good of you to make contact so soon. Won't you come in? Thank you. <laughs> father, this is the Highview Avenue Residents Association. This is my father. Yes, we did uh, notice him yesterday. <laughs> uh, we understand that you intend purchasing Toro Molinos. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Number 23. Oh, is that his name? Y yes, we, we have put a deposit on the property, subject to contract and a satisfactory surveyor's report. But you do intend buying and moving in? Oh, yes, we're very keen on the property. We have both quite fallen in love with it, haven't we, Father? Smashing. <laughs> it's a very nice locale. Very salubrious. Uh, quite. Yes, we think so too. And naturally, we are very anxious to keep it that way. Oh, naturally. The Avenue does you all great credit. We should be very distressed to see the uh, ambience of the neighbourhood in any way altered. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Not only externally, but uh, internally as well. Oh, oh, that is most important. Yeah, most. And not only for visual appeal, but there is also an economic factor. Exactly. As at the moment, the prices of the properties in Highview are at a premium. Oh, they are indeed. Boku de lob. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the slightest lowering of the standards of any of our residents would undoubtedly result in a downward trend in the prices of the rest of the properties. It means they don't like tow rags like us moving in down there. <laughs> oh, oh well, come now, Father. I'm sure the gentleman down me now such thing. Oh, yes, he does. Ask him. Uh, uh, well, I, I don't want you to give the wrong impression. I mean, we are no way prejudiced. No, not, not at all. all. Never all been. in favour of people getting on in the world. Uh, uh, only last year we were cleared by the Race Relations Board in a similar case. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, and I do hope you understand, there is a covenant on the sort of professions that can be carried out from our houses. Uh, I, I understand that you are rag and bone men. Salvage recovery operatives. <laughs> we don't find that bones play a big deal of part in our operations these days. Oh, no, there's no conkers in bones. And we'd be down on our own if we relied upon them. <laughs> what is worrying us is, is it your intention to practice your profession from Toro Molinos? Oh, yes, of course. You would intend keeping your horse and cart there? Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, he means in a garage, not in a house. We've already nanted that. <laughs> oh, I know what you're worried about. You're worried about where we're going to keep all the junk, aren't you? Uh, well, yes, that is one of our concerns. I will put your mind at rest. It's all going to go into the back garden. <laughs> you won't even see it. It'll all be covered with tarpaulins. And though we haven't bothered here, we are fully prepared to get in a couple of whippets. Whippets? <laughs> keep the rats down. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely ratters, whippets. Lovely pets, too. We could start a whippet club. Our races round the cricket green. 
we could make a bit of money between us if we organised it properly. Uh, gentlemen, I think our fears are more than justified. Do I have your permission? Yeah, 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 look at the back. Yeah. Yeah, what is? You wait. Uh, Mr. Steptoe, I'm authorised by the Highview Residence Association to make you a formal offer of £500, not to pursue your purchase of Tottenham Molinos, otherwise known as 23 Highview Avenue. £500? Make it a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot be party to such a blatant piece of social discrimination. Oh, but a working class has always fought against shut yes. it up! Make it a thousand quid in your arm. I'm sorry, we couldn't possibly oh, go to a thousand. Oh, well, please yourself. You can expect us the end of next month. And the first cartload of junk gets shot onto the lawn first thing next morning. <laughs> 750. 900. 800. Stop this! You're not buying me any of you! I want to ask! I reckon we put up by a bunch of lousy rotten snubs like you! 875. 825. 850. Done! Subject to an undertaking not to purchase any other property in Highview Avenue. Agreed. This is not agreed! <laughs> Don't you understand what they're saying? That we're not as good as they are. Do we not fit to live next to them? Oh, cobblers. <laughs> it's a deal, gentlemen. Good afternoon. I've never been saying something no more like this is an outrage. This is sheer, unadulterated class distinction. You will receive our cheque first thing in the morning. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to do business with you. How could you do such a thing? How could you sell yourself so cheap? I, 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 how could you do it? I just don't know. Have you no pride? We just made 100 and 850 quid for nothing. Hey, the whole thing, it's, it's immoral. No, of course it's not. They were quite right. If we'd moved in there, the properties would have gone down. Nobody would have spoken to us. Everybody would have been dead miserable. This way, they're happy, and we're happy. Well, I'm not. Well, then you're a fool. 850 quid we can put into this place. Get a much better price for it when we sell. If we're going to be classified as social lepers, we might as well cash in on it. Classified as some cash in? You little stupid man. 850 pounds not going nowhere in here. He needs a couple of thousand spending on it, at least. Yeah, I know. I thought of that. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on. You'll see. Can't you read? This is a private road. Clear off. Mind your own bleeding business. <laughs> <laughs> this is Willow's End, isn't it? Yes, it is. Then that is no way to speak to your new neighbours. New neighbours? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, come here. <laughs> 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 